Vector A has a magnitude of 2 units, makes an angle of negative 120 degrees with a positive x-axis. So let's draw that real quick. Uh, I don't hear. There we go. Positive x-axis is right here because this is where x equals 1, x equals 2, all the positive values for x would be. And a negative 120 de degree rotation, um, remember positive angles go this way, go counterclockwise, which is counter to what we might think before we start doing this type of mathematics. So negative 120 degrees rotates us this way. Here's negative 90 and then here's negative 120. So that's where they tell us, is th that's what they tell us is the direction of this vector. So it's got a magnitude of 2. Uh, so that's how long this line segment is. Sorry about my drawing. And then if that's negative 120 degrees, then you've got 90 degrees to get here. So that's 30 degrees in between here. So that makes 60 degrees with the x-axis. And then we want to always make a right angle with the x-axis just so we're all staying on the same page. So writing got a little messy there. What is this? What did I even draw? This is 60 degrees. Okay, this is a 2 because this has a magnitude of 2. All right, I think I got everything I want for vector A. Um, what do they want from us? Oh, okay, they want the sum of A and B. So let's first make that vector A. We want to know the X component and the Y component of that vector. And so that's where we use that triangle I just drew. The X component, we using 60 degrees, X is adjacent over the hypotenuse here, right? So we're dealing with cosine because cosine is the trig function that helps us with adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So the adjacent is x because y is what's opposite of 60. And then to solve that, you just take 60 and find out what cosine is, but this is one you might have memorized. And then to get x by itself, you've got to multiply that 2 to both sides. So x equals 1. So that's the x component. To find the y component, y is opposite of 60. So we're dealing with the opposite over the hypotenuse. Sine of 60 is the, what's opposite of 60 degrees divided by the hypotenuse by 2. So 60 in my calculator, figure out what sine is, multiply that by 2. That's 1.732. So y equals 1.732. So this vector a is 1 for the x component, 1.732 for the y component. Just got to do the same thing for vector b, and then we're going to add them together. Vector b has a magnitude of 5, an angle of negative 90. Ooh, oh boy. So negative 90... With, uh, with the po here's the positive x-axis. Negative 90 means we rotate counterclockwise. So this is our vector. It lands right on the y, lands right on the y-axis and has a magnitude of 5. So we actually don't need a triangle for this because the x component is 0, right? This doesn't vary at all on the x-axis from the origin. The y component would be negative 5. Oops, and I actually missed something. You might have caught it. But look, where this angle ended up, I'm at a negative value on the x-axis. I forgot to go back and check my signs. Because going backwards, going to the left on the x-axis is negative. And same thing for the y. That's negative 1.732. Okay, so to find the sum of these two vectors, we just need to add their components. So vector a plus b, that's going to be the sum of the x components. So negative 1 plus 0 is negative 1. And negative 1.732, remember that's a negative. Negative 1.732 plus negative 5, that's negative 6.732. And there we go. That's the sum of the two vectors.